Theodor Gottlieb von Hippel, the 31st of January 1741 to the 23rd of April 1796, was a German satirical and humorous writer. Hippel was born at Gerdauen in the Kingdom of Prussia, where his father was rector of a school. He enjoyed an excellent education at home, and in his 16th year he entered the University of Königsberg as a student of theology. Among his instructors was the philosopher Immanuel Kant and the two became close friends. Interrupting his studies, he went, on the invitation of a friend, to St. Petersburg, where he was introduced at the brilliant court of the Empress Catherine II. Returning to Königsberg he became a tutor in a private family, but, falling in love with a young lady of high position, his ambition was aroused, and giving up his tutorship he devoted himself with enthusiasm to legal studies. He was successful in his profession, and in 1780 was appointed chief burgomaster in Königsberg, and in 1786 privy councillor of war and president of the town. As he rose in the world, however, his inclination for matrimony vanished, and the lady who had stimulated his ambition was forgotten. He died at Königsberg on 23 April 1796, leaving a considerable fortune. Hippel had extraordinary talents, rich in wit and fancy, but his was a character full of contrasts and contradictions. Cautiousness and ardent passion, dry pedantry and piety, morality and sensuality, simplicity and ostentation composed his nature, and, hence, his literary productions never attained artistic finish. In his Lebenslauf nach Aufstiegender Linie 1778-81, he intended to describe the lives of his father and grandfather, but he eventually confined himself to his own. It is an autobiography, in which persons well known to him are introduced, together with a mass of heterogeneous reflections on life and philosophy. Cruz and Quirzuge des Ritters a bis z is a satire leveled against the follies of the age ancestral pride and the thirst for orders, decoration and the like. Among others of his better known works are Über die Ehe and Über die Bürgerliche Verbesserung der Weiber in the latter essay, Hippel argues that the natural traits of women make them superior for many tasks, especially education. According to Jane Neller, Hippel's central claim in this essay is that, "...excluding women from the public square is a travesty of justice that prevents the advancement of humanity toward genuine civilization." Timothy F. Selner has produced an English translation of this work under the title On Improving the Status of Women. Hippel has been called the forerunner of Jean Paul, and has some resemblance to this author, in his constant digressions and in the interweaving of scientific matter in his narrative. Like Richter he was strongly influenced by Lawrence Stern. He never married. In 1827-38 a collected edition of Hippel's works in 14 volumes was issued at Berlin. Über die Ehe has been edited by Emil Brenning Leipzig, 1872, and the Lebenslauf nach Aufstiegender Linne has in a modernized edition by Alexander von Oettingen 1878, gone through several editions. See J. Czerny, Stern, Hippel and Jean-Paul Berlin, 1904. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed., 1911. Hippel, Theodor Gottlieb von. Encyclopædia Britannica. 13 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. p. 517. Topic. Notes Theodor Gottlieb von Hippel, The Status of Women. Collected Writings. Ed. and Trans. by Timothy F. Selner Ex Libris, 2009. This supersedes his earlier version. Bibliography Beck, Hamilton, The Elusive I in the novel. Hippel, Stern, Diderot, Kant. New York, Peter Lang, 1987. Beck, Hamilton. Kant and the Novel. In, Kant Studien B.D., 74, 1983, pp. 271-301. Beck, Hamilton. Tristram Shandy and Hippel's Lebenslauf nach Aufstiegender Linie. In, Studies in the 18th Century 10, 1981, pp. 261-278. Beck, Hamilton. Of Two Minds About the Death Penalty, Hippel's Account of a Case of Infanticide. In, Studies in 18th Century Culture 18, 1988, pp. 123-140.
Beck, Hamilton. Framing the Debate, Hippel's Response to Zimmermann's Attack on the Enlightenment. In, 18th Century Life 14 my, 1990, pp. 29–38. Beck, Hamilton. Moravians in Königsberg in the 18th Century. In, Königsberg. Betrage zu einem besonderen Kapitel der deutschen Geistesgeschichte Day 18. Jarunderts. Ed. Joseph Conan. Frankfurt, M. et al., Peter Lang, 1994, pp. 335–374. Beck, Hamilton. Neither Goshen nor Botany Bay, Hippel and the Debate on Improving the Civic Status of the Jews. In, Lessing Jarbeck 27, 1996, pp. 63–101. Beck, Hamilton. Speak that I may see you, the dialogic element in Hippel's Lebenslauf. In, Konigsberg Studien. Betrage zu einem besonderen Kapitel der deutschen Geistesgeschichte Day 18. Und Angehenden 19. Jarunderts. HRSG. Joseph Conan, New York, Peter Lang, 1998, pp. 123-135. Note, for more recent information on Hippel by Hamilton Beck, see https colon slash slash hippelstudies.wordpress.com.